Hey, and welcome to Adventures by D. Today, we're in California at Not Scary Farms Hotel. And we're gonna give you a hotel tour and show you what it's like to stay here. We're here during Not Scary Farms. It's our first day and our first visit to Not Scary Farms or Knott's Berry Farms. So we're gonna give you a tour of the room and show you what there is to do in the area and maybe eat a chicken dinner. You excited, Dave? Very. If only we can get something boysenberry flavored while we're here. <laughs> so join us on this adventure. So this is room 228 here at the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel. So as you come in the door, this is the bathroom area. So we look out, there's Chris, we're looking out into the bedroom, two queen beds. So um, one of the cool things here is this smart mirror, which I was not expecting here in this hotel. Hey, how's it going everybody? So you've got lighting settings here. I didn't even have time to mess with them all to be honest, but on and off. You got little mood lighting, little night lights. You have kids you need to go to get up in the middle of the night. Then you could turn off the night light and turn it back on. But awesome little touch buttons in the mirror. So got a nice sink, tissue. On the other side here is the closet. Yes, you do have a safe, and it's big enough to fit a pretty good sized laptop. Um, similar to Universal Hotels. Closet, iron, hair dryer, yes, luggage rack, and ironing board. Let me open up the other side. So in the closet you have the ironing board, iron. You do have a hair dryer up here. And then luggage rack and then the safe. Here is the bathroom here at the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel. And they have shampoo, conditioner, and body wash fixed to the wall. A little rack. It was very odd. There's holes in it here. I don't know if it's to put a towel through or something's missing. We bring our own soap and shampoo and conditioner and there was nowhere to put it. It just fell through. We put a washcloth in there or something to try to catch it. But I think that's the weirdest thing in the room. I don't know if that's just to hang washcloths from and not using it as a tray. And then this is the, I mean, it's like a water saver shower, but it was fine. It was fine, you know, it was good. And there was plenty of towels, plenty. Family of four, you wouldn't have a problem at all. There was four towels, four hand towels, four washcloths, ready to go here. And look, there's even art in the bathroom too. So this is a great uh, hotel. And then I know David showed this to you, but this mirror, you can dim it and do different colors and lights. See, I turned it off and on. So, inner and outer rings. Very interesting, loved it. All right, so here's the main room. Hi. Hey, Chris. <laughs> you have two good sized queen beds. And then you also have room under the beds. So similar to a lot of the Disney hotels, you got plenty of room to store big suitcases under there because that's what we did here. To the right, you have a very nice size LG TV, I would say at least 50 inches. Um, you also have, look, Chris, there's hooks. You yeah. always get on the hotel rooms for not having hooks. They have hooks along with a pretty good, almost full length mirror. Dave hung his hat and the hook. So yes. we should tell you, we are filming this the day after we stayed in. So if everything isn't perfect, it's because we uh, have already stayed. Here's the TV. Um, Remote, uh, here's a nice thing for uh, folks that like a little light, mood lighting on each side of the TV, um, both sides of the TV. They do have a Keurig, we didn't touch the coffee maker, but um, it's there with along the coffee accoutrements. There is a decent sized fridge. Not the smallest one, not the biggest one, but um, it's in there. Here's a nice touch when they remodel those rooms. Check out these doors here. Automatic cl close. Very nice. Um, and then some of the details here. I don't know if you caught in the plate, Chris, but this is the uh, Calico mine train that we rode last night. Here's the saloon. 
And then here's a gentleman sitting amongst some of the ladies made of plaster out there on the bench. So uh, little details here when they remade the room. You have a, a little love seat here, which pretty much can serve as your luggage rack, I guess, or to store anything else. The AC and the heater is down here low. It worked good. AC worked great. Yeah, the AC work did work good. You have a look out on the courtyard slash maybe it's an event space and the parking lot. On this side here, you have a nice size queen bed. Super comfortable. Um, very nice to sleep in. You have overhead lights above you, which is another nice touch. Not all hotels have these type of lights, but if you don't want the bright light on, you don't want to read or look at your PC or phone, there you go. Room phone. Cube for charging, really. Alarm clock. Here's a nice hotel layout. Check in, check out, see what's open, what the numbers are. Wake up calls. And then you do have a room service menu right here. If you want to see what's available currently, you can scan that QR code. The second queen bed on this side, and then some pretty cute, um, nice touches on the decor here. Very uh, farm esque. Knots farm esque, yes. <laughs> All right, Chris, what's your take on this room? I, I liked it. It's to me similar to Hampton Inn, and some of the touches they did with the hooks, uh, and if you want to put your luggage underneath, was great uh the lighted mirror in the bathroom i really like because you could change the light so you could not only for makeup but if you want to keep the light on at night and they had separate switches for that light versus the bathroom and the bathroom does have a fan which in a lot of hotels it doesn't uh, very comfortable they have shampoo conditioner and body wash on the wall attached to the wall um, they so obviously so. prioritize the reconditioning of the rooms over the common spaces so I don't know if this is for fact, but I'm going to say most of the rooms are done and now they're on the common spaces. I guess so. I don't know. I don't know how big the hotel is or where they are. There's walls everywhere and you can only go certain places. They have a temporary check-in area. I mean, it's nice, it's just small, and then there's just walls everywhere. When we checked in last night, though, they were directing you to where check-in was and then they directed you how to exit the hotel and there's signage, so it's it's very easy to get around. And you just walk to the park from the back of the hotel and you come back in from the park, from the back of the hotel, and then the elevator is really close to that. So and very enjoyable. I would definitely stay here. And for 150 bucks a night, you know, theme park hotel, that is a bargain, especially with where it's located. Yes, yes. Yeah, especially in California. Hopefully we will be back at some point. Yes, it was a great time. Uh, we went to the opening night of Not Scary Farm, so that's when we're filming this. And we knew when we were stay when we were coming to this, we wanted to stay at this hotel because it's so close to make it easy. In this courtyard over here, which you can see from our room pretty well, I don't know what's going on over here. Looks like they just have some employee meetings, but um, I'm not sure if this is basketball, tennis what they're doing over here but um they have three boxes out to stand on so i'm not sure what it's being used for but uh there's no construction being done i just don't think they're putting it to use yet so our room is way up there Let's see what's going on with Chris. Just a second ago, you saw me down there next to the fence. And so here's the courtyard. Chris, what would you guess this is used for back here? Looks like they had some kind of band practice. They just have three boxes in the middle, but. Maybe events, special events. I guess maybe special events. I bet it used to be like a couple tennis courts or a basketball court. Yeah, that would be my guess. Yeah, I mean, I don't know the platform sitting there. I don't oh, know. I bet they put lights on those platforms in the like a wedding reception, maybe. Or a corporate event, maybe, or yeah. just a group getting together. I don't really know if there's conference facilities in this hotel. Now, the hotel is under construction. So of anything about this hotel, my only negative is that three quarters of it isn't open. <laughs> so if we can't really experience the whole thing, but for what we can experience, I love it. I would stay here again. The room is fine, yeah. as you'll see here in a second. 
I did not hear any, no construction woke me up. So I didn't hear a peep. No, and um, yeah, it's, I would equate this to be similar to a Hampton Inn in room style, very, very comfortable. Uh, no complaints whatsoever. And the walk to Knott's is second to none. I think that's the quickest walk we've ever done at any on-site hotel to get into the theme park. And their area that has, and I, I don't know exactly what it's called, but they have food and treats. Marketplace. Marketplace. So their marketplace area is very convenient. So you could just walk over there in five minutes and grab yourself a coffee or a treat or go shopping or they have uh, their food and they have a Friday's. And they're not gonna run out of parking here. I see two lots down there still empty. So people were streaming in outside, man. The parking across the street for preferred not Berry Farm parking, it's $50 by the way. Okay. So I don't know if that's normal or. And this is the day, so everyone coming in. We talked to a few people that were in the hotel. They were staying with families. They weren't going into not scary farms, but just staying here during the day. They look like they're having a great time. I wish the pool was open. It's just closed right now. I'd be curious to know if they have conference facilities because that might be what's under construction. Um, but overall, very much enjoyed the stay. Wish we could have stayed longer. We only had one night, but I wouldn't hesitate to book this room. Now, Dave, do you want to talk about the cost of this room? Yeah, it was $149 without tax or without fees or anything. But Dave found that on, was it Tickets at Work? Yes. So he found it on the third-party site that we use sometimes to book uh, cheaper deals. So on Knott's website, how much was this hotel? Around $225-ish. Yeah, so we had significant savings. I also think uh, because it's under construction, there might be a discounted rate going on too. But I very much enjoyed this. I would I would definitely stay again without thinking about it. If I'm going to Knott's, I would stay here. So the pool is normally open and it's, uh, you can see it's ready for swimming over there. It was just happened to be closed a couple days that we were here. But I, it, I, it doesn't look like it's being refurbed. They're just washing down uh, the deck maybe, but uh, good news is whatever refurb was being done on the pool, it looks like it's done and maybe they're finishing it up. So pool looks nice. Um, and hopefully by the time you see this video, it's gonna be fully functional. There's the back side of the hotel. You can get a really good view. And you can see there's some digging going on over there, but I didn't. it didn't wake me up. I didn't hear anything from inside the room. This guy working the digger over here. So obviously it's still very under construction. With that said, our room was pretty quiet. Now the pool, I understand can be functioning, but it was closed the day we were here. And then uh, obviously there's parts being ripped out of of uh, this, the frame of the building on the other side and I'm not sure what they're building over here so yes it definitely undergoing some renovations and the, some of the facilities were pretty limited like the restaurant had moved the pool was closed although I don't think that's long term um, so you could stay here just just I would call ahead and see where they are in the renovation depending on when you're, when you're watching this video I video the outside of the pool area which is actually through the front entrance yeah. and they told me it's I didn't go in but it's supposedly opening this weekend there are a couple people standing outside we just missed it if that's true so here's the walk from the hotel this is the parking lot to the hotel here just leaving it And then you walk straight this way underneath Ghost Rider. And then you're pretty much in the marketplace as soon as you go underneath the coaster here.
So we're here at Open with the Notch Chicken Dinner Restaurant. It's 11 a.m. So we're really excited. There's already a ton of people in the restaurant. This is definitely a must do. So Dave, what did you order? I ordered the roasted chicken, which is the same, gonna look the same, it's just roasted instead of fried. So if you can't eat fried foods, we're gonna see what the roasted is, and it still comes with mashed potatoes and gravy. And then you get your choice of either soup, salad, or rhubarb. Yeah, so and then I, corn or cabbage, right? So I got the salad with and then cabbage on the side. But he didn't go boysenberry dressing, I did. I did salad, I did the fried chicken. Oh, I didn't know they had the boysenberry dressing. Yes, they do. Oh, I'm gonna have to tell him that. Okay, I'll, I'll have, I have it. And then I got corn. So here is the boysenberry the lemonade. And Dave's already tasted it, and he said it was exceptional. It's very good. Wow, look at that. I almost got coffee, but you can get coffee anywhere. You can't get boysenberry. It comes with biscuits. Look at that boysenberry jelly. And we got our salad. Look at this. It already came. I got boysenberry dressing. Dave's switching to get boysenberry dressing. <laughs> Crazy. Here's one of the biscuits with the boysenberry jelly. And I'm just saying, Dave didn't even save, save me any over there. Look at that. I'm like, use it up. No way. The salad is so good. The boysenberry dressing is so good. I can like, drink that, right? He's not even messing around. He won't even look up. He's in the zone. It's too funny. And this lemonade, it's the perfect amount of sweet and tart with the boysenberry in there. Oh, this is so good. So I had to get myself my own jelly here. I had to. Uh, Abscond with it because Dave was gonna hoard them. He wishes we could bottle that jelly up, but it would just be hard to get it back to Atlanta. It would break. So we'll see. Maybe they ship, Dave. Here it came, main edition here. We've got two pieces of fried chicken. We got a breast and a leg that I got. And uh, we got mashed potato and a cup of the white gravy, not brown gravy. And we've got some corn. And Dave here, he has his two pieces of roasted chicken, also breast and leg, and mashed potatoes and gravy and cabbage. And that's not a minute. You know, it wouldn't even be about anything to get more dressing just to dip everything in, right? All right, so Chris has a long history here of trying world's best fried chicken. We've had it, at, she's had it at Paula Deen's in Savannah, Georgia, and we tried the Plaza uh, diner right here, near here in Disneyland, so. Yeah, at the Plaza, which is, was supposedly the best fried chicken. Uh, I'm gonna eat just chicken though, oh, breast meat without the coating. Very moist. Very, very moist. All right, get some skin. Let's see what you think. So, I'm just gonna pick it up. All right. So the bread is not um, super thick, and it's crispy some, if you hear it. But not exceptionally crispy, so it's not over fried. So I'm gonna, probably shouldn't use fingers, I'm gonna try it. First real bite. That's very good. It's very good. You got any descriptor words for us? 
points. It's very good. It's like a, what do you consider like a homemade meal with fried chicken? So, kind of like a single batter with some uh, breading and a little bit of salt and pepper in it. Very good. Simple. Very simple. Very good. Super good. Probably I should have done the leg. Go for the dark meat. No. Is there any seasoning you can taste or not? Yeah, I think it has salt. You can taste the salt. Very how good. Would, how would you compare it to like a Publix? It has more flavor than Publix. All right. But Publix has a crispier fried chicken, I think. So, I had the Plaza fried chicken at Disneyland. It was several years ago now. This is better because the Plaza fried chicken was fine, but it was very oily. Um, and it wasn't as moist. So this was very good, very good. Best theme park meal we've ever had, I think. Oh yeah. For sure, very good. All right, Chris, what did you think of your chicken? It was really good. I, I'm so full I can't even eat. It's a, like a crime to leave half of this. Um, I, really, I really liked it. Probably one of the best theme park meals. I've had in a restaurant associated with the theme park. Very good. That salad, I think the boysenberry dressing and the boysenberry lemonade are like must do's. I think this is like five or six dollars for this lemonade, but it is unlimited refills. It's really good. Your boysenberry dressing, I could just bottle that up and carry it in my purse everywhere I'd be fine. <laughs> so good. Really enjoyed it. Dave was raving about his chicken, right? Yeah. I mean, there's not much left of it. It's the, especially the leg was the most moist piece of chicken I ever had. You know how chicken is really moist when you get it from the grocery store before you put it on the grill? That's how moist this cooked piece of chicken was. Which I'm not sure if they do a brine or what they do, but it was moist and very flavorful. Um, I can't put my palate quite on the seasoning, but it was definitely, it wasn't Old Bay. Yes, there's a little bit of salt, but not overpowering, but there was some type of seasoning, oranges and color after it was roasted, and I'm trying to figure that out. Maybe I'll think about it in a couple of days, but it was good, as good as advertised, uh, just like the park last night. So uh, I love the boysenberry jam. I like berry jam a lot, and the boysenberry jam on these yeast biscuits are unbelievable. It's a crime to leave those two. 10, 10 plus here on everything basically. Yes. 10 plus. I can see why people waited in a long line for this stuff many, many years before they even built a ride here. Yeah. So we had to finish the meal with a piece of poisonary pie a la mode. Look at those berries. They're bursting the boysenberries. Look at that. This is Dave's jam right here, literally. <laughs> you ready, Dave? I am ready to get my boysenberry on. <laughs> Hold on, Dave started. I'm sorry, was I going to get some? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you don't hurry. He's like slurping it up over here like it's a noodle bowl. Ten Adventures by Dave. <laughs> Good. Is it warm, the pie? A warm pie with the cold ice cream, are you kidding? Mm -hmm. This is worth the four hour flight alone. <laughs> what? As Chris would say, wow. <laughs> And here's the damage left from the boysenberry pie. We can't eat another bite. Oh my goodness. So, so good. The bill did come. It was $66. So $20 for each meal. We each had a lemonade. That did come with a limited refill, like Chris said. And then uh, we had the pie a la mode. So, um, big lunch. We're fueling up for the next stop. $66 without the tip. So, uh, pretty uh, pricey lunch, but 
this I have no problem because the food was out of this world. Chris, chef's kiss for me. That's right. I should have kissed my fried chicken. That's right. It was great. I'm so glad we came. I wanted to come here for years. Uh, the theme park, not Berry Farm, and the restaurant. So we did it. And it was definitely worth it. And the kids are going to hate that they weren't here, let me tell you. So they're going to they're gonna angle it so they can come too next time. Great time. Not Scary Farm is probably the most unique uh, haunt type experience I've ever had. Not as scary as Halloween Horror Night but more elaborate in some of the design of their houses. So in a way, I think it's my new favorite, even over Halloween Horror Nights Orlando. It's not like it was enjoyable in the houses. It's going to be close. And we're going to go to Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood here tonight. So it'll be anything to see between the th big three. I would put it right up there. Very good. It's a wow, definitely. Worth the visit 100%. Yes. And the hotel, great. So you can go to the hotel, and you can walk over here and eat lunch or dinner. I mean, is there anything better? And you don't no. need a ticket to get to the chicken restaurant here. No. This is outside the park, so. Worth it. And there were so many different things on that menu. You can have salad, soup, chicken, steak, fish, pasta, I mean, depending on what you want. They even had uh, plant-based chicken so I mean there's a ton of options depending on what uh, uh, dietary needs you have or wants so I would totally recommend this we're, we're gonna be uh, coming back again I know that very good if I live closer I'd probably be here often <laughs> season pass yeah <laughs> and eating here uh. for sure I mean to me and we didn't even talk about the mashed potatoes they were so good and they had a uh, white kind of sawmill gravy on them and um, I love mashed potatoes, so like, yes, please. I mean, it was just, they were both just excellent, excellent. Can't can't rave enough about this restaurant. We're in the berry shop, and uh, we're gonna get a sarsaparilla, a boysenberry sarsaparilla, and an original one, and we're gonna drink them later at at Universal. Shh, don't tell anybody. And then Dave, what else are we getting? Oh. We went in the candy shop too. Was a very twist. Look at that. Not twist. And they are really, I mean, it says 16 ounces. These are really substantial. And then jelly beans. Boys and very jelly beans. We have to go on a plane, so we're trying to figure out what we could bring. So, yeah. Right. And there's so many things here. You can get boysenberry ketchup and boysenberry punch and boysenberry barbecue sauce and obviously boysenberry jelly and all sorts of things. Amazing in here. Chris, if they like hotel review content, what should they do? Oh, please subscribe to our channel. We cover the hotels and locations we visit, specifically theme parks. So we have a whole playlist of the Universal Orlando Resort hotels, and we give you prices and uh, give you tours of the hotels so you can figure out where you want to stay. We also have a number of uh, Walt Disney World hotels, and now we're branching out in California. So we have another one coming uh, closer to Universal Hollywood coming up, which is a Hilton Garden Inn. Yes, it is. Yeah, so we're gonna do something similar about five miles from that hotel. And if you like hotel content, hotel reviews, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, lets YouTube know we're doing a good job. If you're not subscribed already, well, come on aboard the Adventure Train here and subscribe. We got some great content coming up from California here and some other good stuff local to the Atlanta area the rest of the haunt season. So um, don't wanna miss out on that. Hit subscribe and hit that bell so you know when we go live and also when we post a new video. So come join our A-Team. That's right. And Chris, until our next hotel adventure, may the adventures, adventures be, be with, with you. you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ringing a bell. So you'll be notified of our next upload. And as always, may the adventures be with you.